set. Now, how far do you reckon you could make a mousetrap propel itself? Like that? Not terribly far. That's not the way to do it. I meant propel itself like this. seem a little far-fetched, a mousetrap to a Grand Prix racer? Well, not really. You can make a mousetrap propel itself like a Grand Prix racer. And, of course, to do that, you need several things. You need bearings, and these are what you make out of screw eyes. You need axles, dowling or wire. You need wheels of one kind or another. And you need string, which go from the spring of the mousetrap to the axle of the wheels. And that's really all you need. Well, the, the other thing you'll need is design because this is a challenge to make a mousetrap racer that will go either faster or further than somebody else's. Let's see how we might do it. First of all, if you take those screw eyes, and I've taken a sort of middle-sized screw eye here, you can shove them into the corner of the mousetrap underneath it, and they'll act as very good bearings for the axle. Well, here's one, and here's another one, exactly opposite, although I could, of course, put them into the end of the mousetrap if I wanted it longer and lower, the way some Grand Prix cars are. But this is how I'll start anyway. I'll put two of those in like that. And with two at the other end, I've got my bearings. And in fact, those bearings are just right to take some thin doweling. And there's the axle of the cart. And all I need to put onto those are two wheels on each axle. These would be cut out of wood. I cut them myself. But if you haven't got the device that does that, you can do very well by carving them out of cardboard. Compasses, scissors, and strong glue, and you've got perfectly acceptable wheels. In the end result, what you end up with is this. There's the mousetrap. It's got the screw eyes, the wheels, and the axles all glued in place. The other thing it has is a piece of strong cotton between the, the spring and the back axle. And that really is strong. Most cotton will break, so use something like buttonhole thread, which really won't snap under the force of the mousetrap. Now, how do you wind it up? I think the best solution, if you have a wide axle like that, is to drill a little hole in the middle of it, cut the thread just long enough to reach it, and put the end of the thread in. You don't want to make it too long. If you do, it'll unwind when the thing is going along, but it'll wind up on the other side and bring it to a screaming halt. That'll rather destroy the whole purpose of your competition. So there we are. The string is in the hole in the back axle. Now, cock the mousetrap. In fact, cock it and set it. Keep your thumbs out of the way. These won't do you any damage, but they can give you a nasty fright if they catch your, your thumb or your finger. And then very gently, keep the thread in place and wind that back axle up. And as you do that, it's a bit like the old-fashioned top. The string goes around the spindle, and when you pull the string, the spindle will unwind. And we're all set there. And that's the Grand Prix racer ready to go. Let's see how it performs. And to tune it at the start, just make sure the body is right between the sets of wheels, otherwise they'll scrape on the side and slow it down. What you need to start it is nothing more than a small weight dropped on the plate there. Here goes. And if that burst of speed overpowers you, remember this one is designed as a racer, a sprinter. Now that's because of its gearing. It's got small wheels on the back and it's got a fairly wide axle. That gives it a quick but short burst of speed. But if it's distance you want, you'll need something like this. Something with big back wheels, and I've cut them out of corrugated cardboard. And they're so big, in fact, I've had to lengthen the body by nailing a bit of wood on the front, and putting the front wheels on that. And you'll need a thin axle, which I've cut out of a coat hanger. Nice and straight bit of wire. Now, when you do that, here's a tip. Let me put it down so it doesn't go off in my hands. You'll bend the coat hanger wire into kinks like that to put the wheels on, but when you've done that, give them an extra kink like that. A piece of tape over there will hold everything flat and keep the thing very, very rigid indeed. Now, of course, with wire, you can't go threading the thread through the middle of it. So instead of that, use a bit of tape. Stick it down onto the axle, and then you can backwind it carefully, and the thing is ready to go. Let's see how it performs in the distance stakes. Once again, true it up in the middle of the wheels, the starting weight, and off we go. Well, those are my designs. I'm sure you can do better. 
Get your friends, get your mousetraps, and have a mousetrap Grand Prix. I want to know. Curiosity.